приглашение. Уже очень много... Thank you for the invitation. So much has been said. So I will leave out some of the uh, uh, parts of my presentation. So let me say that uh, for the uh, second and other lines of therapy, quality of life is important and uh, the possibility to make it longer. And uh, uh, the, um, uh, well, of course, uh, the, uh, there is um, uh, no other question. We questioned the audience uh, earlier, so there's voting. How often do we use uh, this uh, Uh, later line for our patients, so if, uh, routinely for most of them, uh, for half of the uh, patients, 25% of the patients, just quarter of the practice, so considering the biology of the process, uh, considering the result, the low level of result of treatment, maybe you do not believe that are the effective first regimen if there is a progression uh, to uh, administer the second and the third line. You can vote the module for voting is right there, and we will look at the results and comment on them. Are the results there? How often do you apply the second line of therapy? Yes, we're waiting for the results. So the possibilities of immunotherapy were discussed, and Elizabeth was surprised uh, at least to see that immunotherapy is quite available for our patients. And uh, well, of course, that's because we do not have the registration of trifluidin in the Russian Federation, but we have other options, and chemotherapy is uh, Uh, with us in spite of uh, numerous uh, new molecules and drugs. Uh, and uh, here is the answer. Almost half of the oncologists uh, uh, um, uh, prescribe the second line, and uh, very few doctors uh, believe that it should not be used. But these results are quite well expected because the Russian doctors are actively practicing doctors and very often um, go to the next lines of treatment. If you look at the statistics, you will see that these numbers are different for different countries. In Russia, 5 to 80 percent patients and for, uh, look at um, European results and Asian results. So it's all different for different parts of the world. What do we have for the second line? The golden standard, uh, Ramitzumab with Paclitaxel. We have uh, chemistry. We have immune therapy. Uh, two, more than two lines up front um, and two earlier lines of treatment. And of course, we use the guidelines and recommendations that are available of the Russian society, American, European societies of oncologists. And uh, we know about the targets, and we know that the main targets and the only registered uh, is her, um, um, uh, uh, two uh, new for the second line. Uh, we have uh, other drugs and, uh, uh, well, the We believe that the range of uh, target therapy is going to get wider. If we uh, choose um, HER2, then for in the second line, there are no positive studies yet. And uh, as it has been said, we have the Canugat uh, um, trial, but that's for the third line. And this is associated with the loss of HER2 status with the resistance and with new mutations. And uh, we cannot uh, suggest anything else for the second line patients. And um, Ramatsurumab uh, should be mentioned here, of course, registered and is actively being used in Russia. And then there are small molecules, uh, regrofenib, um, and uh, it is not registered. But there is quite interesting data that we are expecting. And uh, um, Intergate trial is positive, we believe, because it has selected as the um, final goal uh, a progression, although uh, the overall survival is just a trend there. But still, it's quite a progress for the further studies. And apart from the... Um, Other, from all this point of applications, there is immune therapy uh, that's got, uh, described by Lubov Yurievna, and she spoke about the latest data, and we can see that uh, um, ASCO um, is renovated, and uh, and um, uh, the 
Uh, there is a, a certain cohort of patients that are winning and uh, gaining, and we can see that the curves uh, um, uh, demonstrate that, and we hope that for the second line of immune therapy is available for this population of patients. And then uh, SAT3, uh, the impact on the um, uh, 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 cells, but will there negative uh, result is uh, more common than positive result. Here we can see these options. Chemotherapy and Excel, we have Ramasarumab, we can the combination of Ramasarumab with Papletexel. Uh, today it is most effective among the available options for the second line. Oh, practically all the patients gain if the second line of therapy is um, prescribed. So, of course, it should be prescribed, and this is what we're doing, and uh, uh, the questioning gives this result. The patients are all different, and we do know that there are certain factors, uh, um, uh, cock and uh, hemoglobin and uh, uh, dissemination and the biology of the tumor, which we can follow. And, uh, at the first line. And uh, so these are the factors that can define for our um, patient the group and expectations associated with the uh, um, uh, second, uh, the first, second, or third line if we stratify uh, uh, the patients properly. And uh, I was uh, expected to speak about uh, Ramotsurumab, a recombinant monoclonal antibody which blocks the receptors, uh, and, we, and we have a very good um, uh, evidence-based uh, result. And so, uh, it's used in mono regimen and in combination. Paclitexel, um, which is the regimen of choice for many oncologists, um, because it um, uh, and uh, this combination is effective. And uh, the rainbow results demonstrate the advantages and uh, um, uh, the uh, combination of chemotherapy of Ramatsumanab gives uh, better survival rates and we can see what patients gain if Ramatsumanab is prescribed. Now this has already been described. Of course, these are those patients who have those factors of well-being, the factors who lived along uh, without progression uh, at the level of the second of the first line and then the, 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 the patients who do not have any peritoneal cancerematosis, the patients uh, uh, who uh, um, uh, had a gastrectomy in anamnesis. Um, very often, um, uh, the, uh, there is um, um, uh, one concern, the concern of hemorrhage. If you look at the adverse events, then, of course, the part of neutropenia with these patients uh, and uh, there is this um, uh, joint effect of chemo um, um, chemotherapy and this is the uh, uh, high uh, blood pressure, separation of the um, um, bowels and fatal uh, hemorrhage. Uh, um, now, these sometimes occur, but not um, as often as we might expect in this difficult population of patients. So this particular drug has a positive profile. As Strachan says, uh, so let's always check the registration trials, and we have our own trial um, 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 uh, based on the real clinical practice. We can see 168 uh, patients. So this is the experience of different centers uh, combined: uh, Moscow, Saint Petersburg, Siberia, and. Uh, uh, clinical practice shows that it is no worse than the registered um, drugs, and the median of. Uh, uh, survival is 10 months in the registration uh, uh, trial, uh, nine, and uh, uh, patients with rheumaticana are the patients who were getting uh, toxins on the, during the first line, and uh, the overall survival was even 13.3 uh, months, and uh, Romosomraf in mono regimen uh, with patients was quite effective with the survival median of uh, 5.6 months. Well, of course, uh, these were patients with a COC-2 status, and this was not uh, typical of the uh, registration uh, um, examination and trial. Uh, so um, uh, the effect of um, uh, this particular drug is obvious. Yes, these patients lived not that well, but still they were getting a certain benefit. If Ramatsarunab 
people um, were, uh, had a regression of symptoms, were gaining weight, and the COX status improved, then of course that means they are gaining. And this demonstration of those, let's say a patient who was uh, um, um, who was getting you know, so for 13 months uh, this combination, the third, the fourth line, there was a response, partial response for the second line. It's quite a rare event, and uh, uh, this was happening over uh, a year. And the overall survival was uh, 36 months. He was a teacher, and he kept teaching, and he was getting therapy. Um, uh, Or a young mother, uh, 46 years old, uh, she was getting therapy with Ramatsarumab for 16 months, and the survival rate uh, was um, uh, 28 months, and uh, even with this uh, rather unfavorable clinical situation, peritoneal cancerometosis. Um, and so, uh, what were the results? Uh, No, the, uh, the uh, results uh, and the data of the real clinical practice comply with the nurses, um, uh, and we can reach the survival medians over six months. And uh, we have, of course, the golden standard uh, for rem- uh, ramatzerumab with paclitaxel. The monotherapy is also quite possible, paclitaxel and others, and we can um, define the um, individualized practice so depending on the status. The immune therapy goes to an earliest uh, stage. We still have a lot to do for the second line, the combination of target therapy and immune therapy, and there are most promising results. So, so, um, combined with the uh, survival median 13 months. That's uh, quite promising. So finally, I would like to ask you once again, which particular regimen, the second line regimen you prefer? What is optimal in your opinion? Ramatsurumab plus Paclitaxel, Ramatsurumab monoregimen, Paclitaxel or Docetaxel, Irinotecan, Capicetabine, Or maybe you're using some other schemes and approaches uh, which I have not considered and included on the list. So we would like to learn from you what your opinion is. So so vote, please, using your mode. Um, uh, So we are existing within this particular format in a rather effective way and we would very much like to have the feedback so this voting gives us this wonderful opportunity and we would like to know the opinion of the medical doctors who are always at the front line so to speak and uh, uh, fighting that very dangerous form of cancer Well, um, uh, the golden standard is the golden uh, standard. Um, Ramosurumab plus Paclitaxel. Well, some prefer chemotherapy. It's an option that is available. Irinotecan and Calicetabine um, are uh, quite good for chemotherapy. Thank you very much. Uh, the result is promising. That means we are all together. We're all within the same field and share opinions. Thank you very much.